Hi, this is Erica Awakening from TapSmarter.com. Welcome back to day seven of the 30 day world peace challenge. And today we're going to address the issue of forgiveness, which was hinted at in our last video with the Course in Miracles passage that opened. Um, world peace depends on our ability to forgive. Forgiveness is not the way the world understands forgiveness. It is a correction of perception so that we understand that what we thought was happening, all these negative things, is not actually happening. And that's why world peace can actually be accomplished from the comfort of our, of our own homes, because it was never, all the world's problems are just in our imagination. I know this is a big leap for a lot of people to make. I'm not gonna explain it all here. Um, if you go to postfeminine.com slash your hyphen subconscious hyphen mind I begin to explain it there and um, it gives you at least an introduction to what we're talking about but suffice it to say that a lot of us have resistance to forgiveness that we've got to clear or else um, it's going to be tough to make progress in our challenge so let's go on karate chop <sighs> even though part of me already knows that forgiveness is the key to world peace. But I probably don't really understand forgiveness. The world teaches us that forgiveness means a wrong was committed and now we're supposed to pardon it. And that's really hard. Because if someone was murdered and that wrong hasn't been corrected by bringing the victim back to life and healing all their loved ones' sorrows, how are we supposed to forgive it? It's not forgivable. So we punish it instead. And we just continue the wrongdoing in a never ending cycle of violence. No wonder we have so much despair. There can never be an end to the misery. in a world like this. What if I could be open to a new perception of forgiveness? All right, let's go on the top of your head. <sighs> Even though I don't know what forgiveness means, I thought I knew what forgiveness means. Just letting go of what happened. Moving on with my life. I forgive, but I don't forget. Deep down, I'm still holding grievances. I won't ever trust a murderer again. that person should probably be put in prison or even killed to make up for what they did. And that's not really forgiveness. That's perpetuating the same mistakes. But I've been taught my whole life If I let people get off scot-free, they're just going to do it again. We have to punish them, don't we? They have to be brought to justice. 
But I already know where this leads. We've had centuries of this kind of justice. It hasn't solved anything. All that happens is my list of grievances grows. The list of people I'm avoiding grows. The list of people I don't trust grows. How could that possibly be an answer to anything? Let a new perception come to me. What if all these bad things that I thought were happening, like wars and poverty, famine and disease, disaster and death, what if these were never real? These thoughts are images that I have made. It's hard for me to admit that. I don't want to take responsibility. Suddenly the guilt and shame are huge. If I created all this destruction What the heck was I thinking? Why would I do this to myself? This is too confusing. <sighs> Erica must be wrong about this. I know the world I see is real. It seems so real. I can touch this chair and it feels real. I can touch this blanket and I know it's real. But how do I really know that? Nothing I see means anything. I have given everything I see all the meaning that it has for me. My thoughts do not mean anything. These thoughts are images that I have made. I am not the victim of the world I see. I have invented the world I see. Real forgiveness depends on me realizing that nothing I see is real and I can change all of it just by changing my mind. That's what forgiveness means. Part of me is really resisting that idea. It can't possibly be true. It goes against everything I've ever thought about the world. So for now, I'm just going to sit with it. I'm just going to be open to it. Let me not close my eyes because of this. All right, now take a deep breath. Check in with your body. See what's coming up. If you do feel a lot of resistance, you want to tap that resistance a lot because the effectiveness of this program depends on seeing the real meaning of forgiveness. You can ask questions on the forum, tapsmarter.com slash forum. All right.
random page in Course in Miracles is, of course, the perfect page. And um, we are going to tap it. Let's go on Karate Shop. There is no cruelty in God and none in me. No one attacks without intent to hurt. This can have no exception. When you think you attack in self-defense, you mean that to be cruel is protection. You are safe because of cruelty. You mean that you believe to hurt another brings you freedom. And you mean that to attack is to exchange the state in which you are for something better, safer, more secure from dangerous invasion and from fear. Let's go on the top of your head. How thoroughly insane is the idea that to defend from fear is to attack. For here is fear begot and fed with blood to make it grow and swell in rage. And thus is fear protected, not escaped. Today we learn a lesson which can save you more delay and needless misery than you can possibly imagine. You make what you defend against and by your own defense against it is it real and inescapable. Lay down your arms and only then do you perceive it false. All right, let's go back on Karate Chop. It seems to be the enemy without that you attack. You attack the politicians. You attack your audience. You attack your exes. You attack every time you gossip. You attack other countries. You attack other cultures. You attack the bankers. You attack the people on welfare. And so on and so forth. Yet your defense sets up an enemy within. An alien thought at war with you. Depriving you of peace. Splitting your mind into two camps. Which seem wholly irreconcilable. You attack diseases. You try to attack death. You attack bacteria and viruses. You try to attack aging. You attack everything and everyone. Yet you attack outside yourself. For love now has an enemy and opposite. And fear the alien now needs your defense against the threat of what you really are.
The peace of God is shining in me now. Why wait for heaven? Those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. The light is in them now. Enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. There are no wars. There are no murderers. There are no diseases. There are no threats. There is no poverty. There is no suffering. These thoughts are images that I have made. I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. The light cannot be lost. Why wait to find it in the future? Or believe it has been lost already? Or was never there? It can so easily be looked upon that arguments which prove it is not there become ridiculous. Who can deny the presence of what he beholds in him? It is not difficult to look within, for there all vision starts. There is no sight that is not only the shadow of the scene through inward vision. Their perception starts and there it ends. It has no source but this. Let's go back and cry each other. The peace of God is shining in you now. And from your heart extends around the world. It pauses to caress each living thing. And leaves a blessing with it. That remains forever and forever. What it gives must be eternal. It removes all thoughts of the ephemeral and valueless. It brings renewal to all tired hearts and lets all vision as it passes by. All of its gifts are given everyone. And everyone unites in giving thanks to you who give and you who have received. The shining in your mind reminds the world of what it has forgotten. And the world restores the memory to you as well. From you, salvation radiates with gifts beyond all measure, given and returned. The peace of God can never be contained. Who recognizes it within himself must give it. 
and the means for giving it are in his understanding. He forgives because you recognize the truth in him. The peace of God is shining in you now. And in all living things. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace. And let me bless them with the light in me. Alright, take a deep breath. Ooh, powerful words, powerful words. Alright, so we'll um, wrap this video here. Again, if you have questions, you can ask them at tapsmarter.com slash forum. Registration is easy and free. And that way, your question and my answer will both benefit a much larger group of people. So please ask questions there. And um, I will see you tomorrow for day eight. This is Erica Awakening. Take care.